Today we're going to be installing ACS composite jacking pucks on my C8 Corvette. This video is sponsored by ACS Composite, makers of quality accessories for your Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be talking about putting jacking pucks from ACS Composite on your Corvette. So going all the way back to the C5 Corvette, General Motors had put some slots in all four corners of the frame to be able to show you exactly where to put your jacking puck. And what it was designed for originally is that the dealers had a insert and turn style and maybe some of you have heard of those or have seen them but these are what they call a leave-in style and I'll bring that up here um, but it's made out of aluminum okay now um, ACS they have them in red they have them in blue and they have them in black but I'm gonna tell you why you want to use the red ones okay if you guys have seen that and I'm gonna put it here in just a minute but if you've seen or heard anything on the internet lately you're gonna see that there was a 2023 uh, brand spanking new Z06 still had the Moroni sticker on the window it was in a dealership a Chevy, Chevy dealership and it fell off the lift this is caused because there's only two ways this happens is a, a lift failure which almost never happens and putting the jack underneath in the wrong spot and in the, C, in the C5, 6, and 7, it wasn't drastic. And there was only one spot on the frame and cut out in the, in the rocker panel. So you really couldn't screw up um, on finding exactly where these went. Whether you had these um, or you had the other style, there was really no way of screwing this up unless you just really didn't know what you were doing. But in the C8, and I cannot tell you why, I need to find out why, but if you look under the frame, and I think it's because of tooling has, has something to do with them being able to move it along the assembly, uh, and maybe one of you guys may know, but I'm thinking that as, it's, as the car is being built and it's being moving down the assembly line, that it's probably because of that. They have the traditional um, it's like I said oval kind of not oval but it's almost like a rectangle with a round edge on each corner which these little guys will go in they go up in they turn a quarter turn and then they tighten them up with some bolts and we're going to show you how that's done here in a minute but they also introduced and you probably saw this in the in the first 2020s that were falling off the lift that there's some other cutouts in the rocker panel and right next to that is um, a round, perfectly round hole. And so a lot of the dealers were putting their, their lifting pad from their jack on the round hole. And by doing that, it was changing the, the balance of the rear engine car to the point where it was falling off the rack. So, a personal experience that I had uh, from a, the reason I'm saying, I'm going to show you why, because of the red ones, it doesn't really matter whether they're red, blue, or black, right? But for me, it does make a difference because I took my, my old C4 in to be, have some new tires and wheels put on it. And the young kid that was doing it, he rolled a jack, a, a rolling jack underneath it and started to just crank it up. And um, what he did is he actually caught, this was on my Red 92. Those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that. He got right underneath there, he just rolled underneath there and started yanking up. He never even looked under the car. And all of a sudden you start hearing the, the floor start to crack. And I, I couldn't believe my ears, I couldn't believe what was happening, but the damage was already done. So now knowing that and then seeing that the C8 will fall off a lift if it's not jacked up right, I wanted to make sure that one, we got a jacking pad in there. And then number two, that it was red. So I can say, hey guys, jack it up in the spot that's red. It's the only red thing underneath the car. So they can't screw that up, 
okay? At least they shouldn't be, they should be smart enough if they got the job to be at the, at the dealership working on your car, they should know exactly where to jack it up, okay? So that's why I'm recommending the, the red jacking pads. Now, I'm gonna show you now this video that just happened. We're, uh, this is September, what is this? September 26th, and I think this happened about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago, something like that, that this beautiful red Z06 that never ever even think made it on the road, it, I'm sure, got totaled. You'll see it for yourself here in just a second. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and play that for you, we're gonna let you see it, and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get the GoPro underneath, because you've gotta be able to get underneath the car to be able to put the jacking pads on, and I can't put the jacking pads on with my lift because I've got to be able to jack the car up properly. So I've got a GoPro that's got the right angle and we can get underneath there and I can show you how it's done. So sit back and relax and here we go. So we are under the car. This is the passenger side rear. And I'm going to show you what I was talking about with this extra hole. And you can see that you can see that the body has a cutout right here. It's actually got a more pronounced cutout than it does in the back or in the front, right? So you can tell whatever it is, it's perfectly straight and this they use that for something. I'm not sure. Guys, I'd love to know if you guys do leave that in the comment. But this is where they were putting the jacking pad. This is exactly where you will ha end up with the with your car falling off a lift if they jack it up. Okay, so you can see right here with this jacking the jacking puck, it's not going to go in that hole. There's no way. Okay, so what you want to do is we're going to scoot the camera here just a little bit. We're going to bring it over here so you can see what I'm talking about. So here, a little bit farther back, is the oval style hole, right? And what you're going to do there is you can go ahead and you can use the provided Allen wrench if you'd like. Or you can do what I'm going to do and just have an Allen that's on the, um, on the ratchet. But you're just going to put this in like so, like that, and you're going to turn it. It's like that. And then you're going to take your... Your ratchet. I'm gonna hold your hold your your um, jacking puck, and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna just get it get it tightened up here. Like that. And obviously, you'll feel it. And then once you get this one going, you can do the same thing here. And this is going to save you so much time by using a ratchet rather than this, this Allen wrench. But like I said, if you don't have the tool, then use the one that comes with it. It's not that big of a deal. So you're just snugging these down, make them fairly tight because you don't want it to come undone. Tighten it down, just like so. Hopefully my hand is not getting in your guys' way. And then go back and forth a little bit just to make sure that it stays snug. And that's literally all there is to doing the rear one. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move you up, back up to the front. And we'll do that up there so I can show you where that spot is, okay? So we're just gonna turn the camera around, just like so, and we're gonna move forward, okay? And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so if you look right here, and hopefully you can see that, is you can see that there is a round hole right here. Let me see if, see if you can see that. See if you can see the round hole here. See where my finger's at? But that's not the one you want to use. We're going to move, we're going to go up farther for, forward, and you're going to see, let's see, where is it at? It's right here. So let me see if I can get that little guy so you can see it. 
So it's right here. Again, it is an oval cutout. I call it oval. Maybe it's a rectangular with two round ends. I don't know what you want to call it. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to prep our I'm going to prep this again. I'm just going to snug them up just a little bit. Just a little bit ahead of time so the ratchet isn't going to just sit here and spin. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to stick it up there and we'll turn it. And then we'll go ahead and start ratcheting it up. Okay, got that one snug. Snug this one up. Like that. All right, and that's all there is to it. So guys, after seeing how easy these are to put on and how much damage can happen by not having these, I can't see any of you not getting a set of these for yourself. So go to acscomposite.com and put all that information right here on the screen and be sure and let ACS know that Scott from the Corvette channel sent you, okay? and um, you can just see how simple it was to install them and uh, very inexpensive in comparison to what the cost could be if you end up getting your car damaged by not having a set of these and like i said i highly recommend that you get the red ones because the black is definitely going to blend and the blue is not that much you know brighter so the red ones it's very simple for you to say hey don't jack anywhere but on the red spot. You know, I mean, it's just, it's kind of brain dead, but it just makes it so much better. So anyway, guys, um, that's enough for that. I just want to thank you guys all for watching today. Um, it, uh, it's quite an honor. You know, we have made it over 15,000 subscribers and we're starting to climb. You guys are listening and I thank you for that. We are over 100,000 subscribers, so that to me is very awesome. I would love to be able to get that even more, but you know, we've got people from all over the world that are watching us, and I really appreciate it. I really do. So all of you guys that have been subscribing and are subscribed, I want to thank you all for doing that. I want to thank all of you for watching, first of all, but um, those of you that have subscribed, I really appreciate it. I know you've seen the channel grow. And those of you that are watching this for the first time maybe, or if you just haven't wanted to hit the subscribe button, please do that. I would so appreciate it. And it will help with me being able to bring more stuff to you guys to be able to do on this car. So, and, and I'm not just doing it on the C8. I'm doing it, we've got more stuff coming for the, C, the C7. And we just have more, we have more stuff coming for the C5, as a matter of fact, as well as the C6. So we are still, I mean, this is just stuff that I know of that we, I have that I just haven't gotten able to film yet. But, uh, you know, we're, we're being able to bring you more content because these, these manufacturers, just because it went to the C8 doesn't mean that they stopped making it for the C4 or the C5. They, they keep coming out with more and more stuff. And um, as they do that, as I, my numbers are growing, they're calling out and saying, hey, Scott, do you want to do a video? Now, when they reach out to me, that I feel is a major accomplishment. Like I did something right. When I first started this channel, I had to beg these sponsors to send me anything or even all become a sponsor. But nowadays, they do, they trust me. And I think I, I show you guys how to do this stuff in the right light and, and it makes it so you guys want to do it or feel like you can tackle it yourself. Um, there are some of you though that you don't want to tackle it. You don't have the time. You don't have the tools. You don't have a lift. You don't have whatever. And, and that's okay, right? You just want to go get in the car, drive it, and have fun. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but if you're in this area, or if you want to ship the car out to me, or you want to take a, take a summer drive, or whatever it may be, and you want to get the car to me, 
then I will be happy to do the work for you. We've had people from Florida and we've had people from Denver, Colorado, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Las Vegas, Nevada, a lot from the Southern California area, Anaheim and San Diego and the numbers are just growing all the time and it's really cool. Uh, some people have had it had them carried out here on a transport and some people have driven them. So um, if you guys are in need of me doing any of this work, please feel free. I'm going to put all my information right here and I will have you send me pictures or tell me what you need and I will give you a quote. Okay, so I'm very transparent that way. I'll tell you and uh, you know, you'll know exactly what we're what you're up against before you get here. Okay, so um, guys again want to thank you guys all for watching and uh, that's about it for tonight, guys. We're, uh, we're, stay tuned. We have so much stuff for the C8 to do. Um, I know I'm a, like I said before in my last video, I'm a late bloomer with the, with the C8. You know, it's been out a few years already. And, um, and I've just now gotten mine. And uh, I feel very privileged to be able to own three different Corvettes. And, um, you know, I'm not getting ready, getting rid of any of them. I'm keeping them, and probably will eventually add another one to the stable one of these days too. But um, I'm trying to trying to do as much as I can. Uh, I never thought that this was ever going to be, you know, uh, it was started out as a hobby and now it's a business. And I just I just want to thank you all because a lot of you have seen a lot of my business has come from the YouTube uh, you know community and you guys watching. So again, I just want to thank you guys all for watching today and you guys have a great, great night. We'd like to thank you so much for watching the Corvette channel. If you like the video you watched today, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.